Hey, hey, it's your host Sass from the Viral Kingdom and welcome to another NFT tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can create your very own NFT website where you can showcase your NFT project. This is going to be a completely noob friendly tutorial and it's going to be using the cheapest possible options to do this. Now, before we do get into the tutorial, if you could go down and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel it would mean a ton as we're trying to hit our end goal of 100,000 subscribers so if you like nft related content you'll be sure to enjoy this channel so make sure to hit that sub button now before we get into anything this video is actually sponsored by atlas vpn the crypto and nft space can be a scary place with so many different scammers on multiple different websites so it's really important to keep your ip safe using a vpn Additionally, popular platforms like Binance and more are getting denied depending on the location in which you browse the internet. But with Atlas VPN, you can actually change that location to wherever you want within the world so you can safely browse any website for crypto or NFTs. I know Binance is banned in Canada, so this is a fantastic option to get around that and use the Binance blockchain. If you use the link down below, below you'll be able to set up your vpn for 199 a month ensuring you're constantly safe on the internet that being said let's get right into this website building tutorial Alrighty, so there is some other hosting services that you can use we're going to be using dreamhost just because i believe it has the best and cheapest hosting option that will be linked down below make sure to click that link it also helps me out and it's really prime focused is on that WordPress hosting, which is what we want. So we're going to register for an account. You can do this by clicking get started at the top and then finding the plan you want. Now for us, we're just going to be creating one WordPress website and we're going to click the shared starter pack. It's going to be the cheapest option for us. And then we're going to select the monthly plan just because we don't want to be committed to like two years. Obviously, if you're setting this up for your actual NFT project, maybe you want to select yearly plan just because you're obviously going to have your NFT project for more than a year. But just because this is a tutorial, I'm going to set it up for one month. So I'm going to select sign up now. Then it's going to say uh, if you want to choose a domain, we are going to do this because the free domain actually comes with this hosting package. So you won't need to use anything like GoDaddy or Namecheap. You can pick your domain within in the uh, DreamHost website, which is awesome. So we're gonna select register a new domain and then we're going to find that domain that we want. Now today's tutorial, I'm going to be helping out that Yatsuki project. They aren't launching until like the summer, but I have been kind of advising them as I'm friends with one of the co-owners. So they've given me the privilege to make this video on purchasing their domain. So the domain I want is Yatsuki NFT and we're going to click search and see which ones are still available now as you can see the yatsuki nft.com uh, domain is available for eight dollars so we are going to register that domain now it's going to ask for some of these different options like the seo toolkit uh dream host email uh dream shield protection in my course i actually kind of go over all of this stuff and why uh some are important and why you should have them and why you shouldn't we are not going to check off any of these just because it's a tutorial and there's really no point in doing so you can actually pay with paypal uh for dream host which is something i absolutely love as i use paypal so we're gonna do that option. Now you can actually sign up for it for yearly basically. And this is going to be a lot cheaper. Basically, you're only going to be paying $35 a year compared to the $9.98 per month. And then we are going to select submit order. You'll then be asked to create a password for your dream host account and it will bring you to the control panel so perfect now you're pretty much 
done getting your domain and your hosting service all in the exact same place this is why i like using dreamhost and i highly recommend it because when you use something like godaddy and then you have to connect the domain it's just one more thing that makes everything way more confusing now you will have to wait for the hosting service to actually initialize this setup it's going to take anywhere from five to ten minutes so once this is finished setting up we will be back and we'll be able to install this word WordPress that is right here it's going to be really simple so once your setup is complete you just want to finish the setup by clicking that option right here and then you need to register that domain so we're going to select the go to domain registration and you're going to need to verify your domain and it will be in your email and your email you just want to click the option that says click here to verify your email address and then it will bring you to this page that says bam your email has been verified once your domain is done the next thing you want to do is order that new ssl certificate you actually get a free one with the plan you chose so this is going to be that free option you can select select this basically all an ssl is is uh when you visit a website you'll see this lock right here this means the website's secure and that you should feel safe in putting any information on the website if you ever visit a website that doesn't have this never enter any personal information as it can be stored by basically hackers and whatnot so that's just a little tip and they're gonna run away if they don't see that ssl certificate as they're gonna feel unsafe on your website so it's really important to have that now this will take a little bit to register on dreamhost so you may have to wait a while for this to get set into place and actually install as you can see the certificate is processing and if we come back in a little bit it should be good now to actually install a uh, word WordPress, which is the next step that we're going to be doing while we wait for that SSL. You can do this by selecting the WordPress option and then going to the one click installs. Then select learn more and install. And you want to select the domain that you registered. So for this example, the Yatsuki NFT.com domain. Then you want to keep all of these the same and automatically create that database and select install it for me now. And bam, now our WordPress is installed and it's going to take around 10 minutes. You'll receive an email once this is done installing. So I'm going to wait for that and then I'll come back and show you the rest. Alrighty, so once your website is done installing you can actually click on it and see what it looks like so yatsuki nft.com and it's just this base uh template site obviously we're going to change that but that's just to show uh that your which site's working and hey it's all set up so the next thing you'll do is go to your email you'll get an email saying hey your website's set up you need to uh reset your password or you can reset your password if you choose to we're going to do that because it gives you a shitty default password that you really just don't want already so i just entered in that password and perfect you can just log in with that email and password you created now you'll actually be brought to uh, this page right here and it's going to ask you to choose a theme so we're gonna select get started and here are all the themes you can literally go through every single one and see which one you like the best and basically the theme is going to be an idea of what your website's gonna look like obviously it's gonna have all your information inside of it once you fix everything Thing around but just choose a ui that you really enjoy the look of now i'm gonna select this theme right here i like the uh look of it obviously it's for like some home company we're gonna change all of that good stuff you can add a blog option if you choose to do so uh we're not going to add that though and we're going to select next here you can type in your name and your address obviously these are all defaults so you can just select all of those in and you can select do not display so let's say you don't want your phone number on there well you don't have to enter that in you don't want an address that's fine uh, you can get rid of the Facebook let's say you don't have a Facebook but you do have an Instagram and you have a Twitter and so once our information is inputted the site name and the social media will hit finish and install obviously it's not a huge deal if you mess any of this stuff up because it can always be changed down the line already once that's done it will 
bring you to the WordPress homepage basically, and this is your website right now. Now, obviously we don't want any of this information and I'm not a huge, huge fan of the website theme, but don't worry, this is something you can easily change within WordPress. So in this top page right here, if you ever wanted to edit a page, there's the edit page option right there, or you can go to themes and you wanna find this theme right here. Uh, you can do that by going to add new theme and then typing Hestia and you will find the theme you are looking for and just install it. I have it installed and I'm just going to select activate to make sure it's active. Then I'm going to delete that old theme because I really just don't want it. It's always good practice to get rid of all of your old themes. Next thing I'm going to do is select enable auto updates. It's always good to have that on. So whenever the theme gets updated, it updates on your website. You'll have to go back to the appearance setting and go to Hestia options and ask you to install a plugin. It also recommends you install Elementor. So make sure to activate that. And it also recommends to activate the contact form so we'll do that as well. There's a few more it asks for you to install. We're not gonna do those as of right now, but they're always good options. Next thing you wanna do is scroll down until you see Orbit Fox. That's what we installed. And then go to Template Directory and install and activate Templates Cloud. This is where you are going to find your templates. So we have those activated, amazing. Now we can find the templates we want to work with. And once you find one that you like, for example, I like this one so we'll select import and we want to just import everything within this site so we'll select import entire site. This is going to bring with it all of the content on it so it's a lot easier to edit and add your own. So we'll select add your own content and it'll bring us to the edit page. So this is what our website is going to be looking like and here we can actually edit our content around. Now you can edit with Elementor uh, so that is an option I will show you guys or you can just edit it with the regular WordPress editor. So this is going to be the home page. It's going to be the main page of our website. So we can change around text like check out our NFT. Obviously, I don't know what you, you would be adding your own content to this website. You can change around the icons within it. Obviously, like right here, this is maybe where you would add your roadmap. You can do add stuff by hitting the plus icon and then there's like just a million different options in which you can add in. And yeah, guys, it's really that easy to set up and change around the different options. So when you're done fixing all the settings, you can select update. And then now if you go to your domain, it should be updated. So as you can see, it's updated with that text we changed. So check out our NFT. I think we changed that. We changed a few other things. We changed like the numbers. So yeah, you can really just change so many stuff within this and it's a perfect one page template as you can see when people click the tabs at the top it instantly brings them to the spot they're looking for on the page. Now, if you want to edit things with Elementor, you can just select edit with Elementor. And Elementor provides a little bit more, I would say like advanced editing within the page. You can do more things with Elementor, but a lot of the stuff with Elementor, you need the pro version, which is why I don't really like it, to be honest. Like they have some cool stuff. Like obviously I doubt you'd have a pricing table on yours. That's cool. There's like services that are cool, but for the most part, I think you would be fine with the regular WordPress editor. So yeah, guys, that's going to conclude this video of how you can set up your very own NFT website using WordPress. I go a lot more in depth on my NFT course. So if you want to check that out, that will be linked down in the description. I go more in depth on the best plugins to install on your website, SEO tips, the best domains, all of that good stuff to help you in your NFT journey. Also, this is going to be a part one of two video as my second part is going to be showing you how you can actually add a smart contract into your website in the easiest way possible. So make sure to stay tuned for that. If you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel as I'm trying to hit my end goal of 100,000 subscribers. So make sure you subscribe. But yeah, guys, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Peace. See ya later. Thank you for watching the video. And don't forget to remember. Bye. Thank you for watching the video. And if you're a fan, subscribe if you can. Keep